Okay. Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to Highwire Improv Tuesday night. I'm so excited. We have uh, two amazing shows lined up for you tonight. Um, you know, we have a lot of cool things going on. If you're in uh, the Baltimore City area or the DMV area at large, um, you know, we have in-person shows. We have a couple of workshops going on this weekend. The amazing Carla Dingle is coming to town. Uh, and I'll tell you about all of that a little bit later. But first, I'm going to bring out our wonderful first act. Please welcome uh, Velvet Duke with All Request Radio. Thank you very much. This is All Request Radio, CKVD 99.5 FM. And uh, we play all of your favorite made-up songs. So we're going to give you a moment to, uh, to submit your favorite. And when we come back from this song, you will uh, we'll get into the top 10 countdown. This song right now is Waiting, Waiting for Your Suggestions by The Impatient Three. The Impatient Three here on CKVD 99.5 FM. This is a quick show, so that's all the time that we have for the Impatience 399. This is KVD 99.5 FM. We're going to uh, bring on your DJ. That's me. I'm DJ Velvet Painting. Thank you very much for joining us. We are going to get into all of your requests. Uh, we don't have time to play all 10 of them. So if it ends up that we don't get to yours, please know that uh, we still love you. We still appreciate you and cheer for the others that come in. Let's, uh, let's uh, go to... Uh, I'm working on six machines because this is community radio. Uh, we'll just do it the old fashioned way. Uh, do, do, do. Let's see. The number 10 was the monsoon from the monsoon debacle. It's uh, their rock song. We're just going to uh, skip through from 10 to six. Uh, their song was, I just wondered. Uh, actually, you know what? We're not, uh, yeah, let's play just a little bit of, I just wondered and see what that is like you know because you have put in this effort let's hear a little bit of this uh and of course everything is crashing on me yay i like that uh it's a good thing we are doing improv here we go do 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 let's hear a little bit more of uh, let's uh, let's throw on instead of this song we'll just go back to uh, the uh, something's going on screen and instead we'll play a little bit of um, thank you for waiting thank you for waiting <laughs> oh, oh, thank you for waiting I know exactly what happened and I'm anticipating Fixing it right away Okay, thank you very much. We're back. You know, it's funny when uh, when you try to do something And the technology doesn't like it. This is the monsoon debacle. This is what they sound like with their song I just wondered from Pete. Thank you Pete for giving us that one and now we have uh, the Miner's Wagon with their song, That Broke the Ice. Thank you, Kathy, for submitting That Broke the Ice. And then we have Lamb Circles R&B Excellence, uh, the ballad of the imposter. That is how I was feeling a moment ago. So thank you, Jeff, for giving us that suggestion. Oh, I love this song. If you get a chance, pick up their latest album. It's Am I Real? Uh, coming up in the number seven spot, Highway Merge Accident. 
they are redefining acoustic in 2023 with too many tomatoes. Uh, thank you. It is one of my favorite made up songs. Thank you, Kristen. Number six, we have Earth Mover Squid. Ooh, definitely rock. I love that song that they have. Angular thinking, uh, Rich. Where will this land next week? We all want to know for sure. Let's keep that song on while we recap your top 10 to six. I just wondered, that broke the ice. The Ballad of the Imposter, Too Many Tomatoes, and Angular Thinking. All right. I'm ready. I know you're ready to get into your top five. Top five for this week of your favorite all made up songs. Here we go with, uh, we'll pause that and we'll go into number five. It's a jazz production from Wilt Productive. Wilt Productive has been a local Ottawa band for the last 10 years. They, uh, you know, you think when you first hit the scene that a band is going to, you know, sometimes they burn out rather than fade away. Wilt Productive has done neither. They have been so good, so good, continuing to produce year after year. And this song on the charts tonight, Magic of the Mall, is exactly why they are staying there. Let's hear from Wilt Productive. When you're in the mall, you don't want to stall. You want to get what you need. It's hard to do and Sometimes other people are so rude But then you get that cashier with attitude That brightens your day Let you know that it's okay That's the magic of the mall Oh, the magic of the mall, it beats them all. Oh, piano solo. That's Willie Williams on piano. Mm, thank you, Willie. Oh, do I need more socks? I always need more socks. Oh, I need, yes, I need. Tink along those ivories. It's the magic of the mall. The magic, let it captivate you. Even if the parking makes you feel like it's through. Yeah, get a cart, get a cart, put the quarter in the loony in the tootie, yeah. Get a cart, cause you're gonna have to carry it back in. And that was the magic of the mall. Thank you, Barry, for uh, for suggesting that song. Uh, if it is not your favorite before, it will be. Yeah, where will it land next week? Keep voting for it. We'll see if it can rise in the charts we're coming at you now with the number four song your favorite made up song here on ckvd 99.5 fm coming to you from chartreuse plasma oh alternative music i am so glad alternative music is still here alive on the airwaves uh at least here on all request radio let's hear their song this is a spring has spring charlotte Ah, oh, you know what you're talking about. This is Spring Has Spring. Woo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo. This is a spring in your step. step, step, step. This is a life with no regrets, grand, grand, grand. 
to This is the way we want to live when we live in Live in And spring is spring Live in Do your thing Get the bus on Get the claws Get the tubes and let yourself be wrong Oh, you know that spring has spring 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 has spring Has spring When I'm working with my tools outside And I see my neighbors passing by Oh, you know we're renovating And nobody is hating Spring has spring Spring has spring I'm not just making up this thing It feels spring has spring Hear the sounds of the road workers Hear the sounds of the construction Hear the sounds of sounds of spring That was Spring Has Spring from Chartreuse Plasma. Thank you, Charlotte, for putting that song on everybody else's radar. I love it. This is All Request Radio here on CKVD 99.5 FM. Let's move on to the number three song, Oh Fig Lard. <laughs> we have some more jazz coming your way. Another local jazz legend, uh, Fig Lard. Uh, people do know who Fig Lard is. If you walk anywhere down Bank Street, you've seen her playing on the corners, uh, sometimes playing multiple instruments, uh, multi-talented uh, individual who uh, who also has the, the is just debuting their album for the first time this year after being out there for so many years finally landed a record deal with Capitol records and this song is off of it uh coming in to our station at number three let's hear for it never again but always forever pete thank you very much for giving us this song to listen to this is never again but always forever that's right all of the flute and the horns, all from Big Lard. Don't you worry, I won't let you forget. Never again, and always forever in death. Oh, you can't pay. At least not yet, never again, always forever in your day. The way that we locked our eyes, you held me alive. That life doesn't have to be hard all the time Though I sometimes feel blue Never when I'm with you Not feeling never again I feel never again Then did you ever feel I may stray? Feel free to come my way and say, always forever in the dead. We see each other as equal because we respect each other's people. And always we'll talk it down until we forget. 
always forever and never again never again never again never feeling on me when I'm with you not codependent no always forever feeling even when you love me so. We go our separate way And I never feel like I'm alone Never again No, no Never again Never again But always forever All right, and moving right along to number two, Molasses Bodybuilding from some R&B purists. This is their song, Sunshine Icon. Again, from Charlotte. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. We don't have to say a word Cause sometimes it is absurd now I'm not sure what you've heard Oh, you're my sunshine icon Even if I'm feeling cloudy You've got a way to get them through to me Sunshine All the time Rain Shine, see you shine through. Oh, you are an icon in my life, and everybody knows what you got going on, going on. Makes me feel it from head to toe. Sunshine icon, you're a symbol of everything good, and I'm so lucky to be embraced by you through my child and adulthood. Sunshine, sunshine icon, you've got me moving it on. Sunshine. S is for the sunshine. My U is for usually when I've had two coffees. And N is for never disappearing on me. Sunshine, I call. Him. Oh, you give me so much to live on. I'm glad to see you right on the dawn. Sunshine, I come. That was your number two song, Sunshine Icon, here on CKVD 99.5 FM. That was Molasses Bodybuilding. We've come to our number one song. Number one song. Mm. Still enjoying the sunshine. Number one song comes to us from the Orifice Taboos. Oh, they are the hip hop darlings. If you haven't had a chance to see them live in concert, uh, they have whole sections of their shows where they'll let the audience sing. They'll bleep out the songs that you are not allowed to sing. And by you, you know who I mean. Yes, you. The rest of them are allowed to sing it. But uh, it's so wonderful how accessible their shows are, are. They have the captioning. They have ASL interpretation. Uh, they have deaf interpretation. It's so good. Orifice Taboos. Uh, I, they are on tour this spring. You can see them in all of the major cities. And they're not using Ticketmaster, so the tickets are affordable. This is their number one song. Oh, it's the number one song. It's the last song we're going to be playing tonight. So it is appropriately called Last in Line. Thank you, Barry, for giving us this song. This has been All Request Radio. You're playing your favorite made-up songs. Let's hear it. Last in line.
Oh, I'm feeling it, seeing it, knowing it. Oh, I got it. I feel a flow, a flow in it. Don't worry about going in front of me. Cause I got it, you see. Got all day in harmony. I'm doing my thing. Oh sure, just fall in line with you one thing. Yeah, that is fine. Ten things, oh, no mind. Do what you gotta do, see. I'm really last line to you. I wanna get through. See the cashier and say, hey boo, what's up with you? I know you had a long day, it's okay. If you wanna go away, but I wanna say, I'm last in line for you. Mm. Not trying to play like I'm the last one on earth, no. I'm not trying to prove to you that I don't have any worth, oh. But I also know that it takes patience to be true. And that is what I'm trying to model for you. I'm last in line, I'm, I'm, I'm. last in line, I'm, I'm. oh, it's fine, I'm, I'm. really don't mind, no, no. You close your line, I see what's true. I'm not gonna be the one to pester you. Oh no, I keep moving on. I'll get my shopping done. I'm going out and living life and I'll move on. Oh, get out of the parking lot, get out of what I need. I'm gonna be, let you in, yes indeed. Oh, cause where I'm headed to, I can take my time. I can be what I need to. I'll be last in line, last in line. Last in line, oh, I'm feeling fine being the last in line, oh. Cause there's too much stress in the world, yes, too much stress in the world. I'm not gonna feel it, girl, I'm not gonna let it get to me. My heart rate's already picking, see, I don't need more tracks, see. Don't devastate me, I'll be last in line, last in line. I'm the last of my family line, gotta keep living my time, gotta keep doing fine, gotta. Let everybody live their life, I'll be sublime. Oh, I'm lasting, I'm lasting, I'm lasting line. That was Last in Line from the Orcus Taboos. Thank you, Barry. Thank you, everybody who provided your favorite made up songs. This has been On Request Radio. I have been your DJ, DJ Velvet Painting. See you again next time. Good night. Oh my God, that was amazing, Velvet. Um, I said it like 30 minutes ago and I'll say it again. I think musical improv is like one of the most impressive things somebody can do. Uh, Velvet, before you go, is there anything you want to plug in the online world or in person? Uh, Hi, I'm still here, yeah. Uh, You know, I'm doing this, I'm doing a full length version of this show as part of the Ottawa Fringe Festival. That's coming up uh, June 15th to 25th. I have eight shows. Uh, It is not only this part with the countdown, but I also will have some cameos of other artists coming in to do a duet or, you know, whatever they want to do, we'll we'll follow that lead. Uh, So I'm very much looking forward to uh, being collaborative with this format as well. Amazing. Well, thank you so much. This is such a treat. It's always good to see you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Uh, We have one more uh, outstanding team uh, coming up in just a moment, but I'm going to take a minute to plug some things going on in Highwire land. Uh, We have the honor of hosting the lovely Carla Dingle of, I'm sorry, not Charm City, of Queen City Comedy that's in Charlotte, North Carolina. She's coming up to visit and she's doing two workshops. She's doing a dramatic workshop and a game of the scene workshop. So uh, you can find all of this on our Eventbrite or if you go to our Instagram and go to our link tree, she's gonna be doing two workshops. We still have uh, lots of spaces open for those and we still uh, have scholarship scholarship spots as well. And she's gonna be doing some shows with us. Uh, this coming Saturday night, we have our monthly show at the Lou Room in Hamden. Uh, and she'll be playing in with Bay Prov, which is a troupe that I'm in. So that's very exciting. And then Sunday, she is going to be playing in with Teen Angst at No Land Beyond, also in Baltimore. Uh, so we're very excited. Lots of really cool things happening in Highwire land. All right. So now I'm going to bring on my buds and we're going to do some more improv for you. Please welcome to the stage, Topiary. 
here they come yay <laughs> i thought we were gonna have a song you know what i don't tech a whole lot I'll, i'm gonna be transparent i don't tech a whole lot and i'm focused on just keeping this thing running i don't I... <laughs> Just you're a woman in no, stem you can figure it out you're right i am a woman in stem um all right hey hey y'all it's good to see you good to see you too it's been a while it's been a minute, minute. It's been a while since we've done an online show. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Sherrod, I love your, um, your map of the world art. Yeah. I did a little bit of, um, what do you call it when you redo your home's interior design? Renovate? Yeah. Mm. Redecorating? Redecorating. Thank you. I thought you were going to say I did a little bit of sailing and I (laughs) wanted (laughs) A bit of conquering, uh, like the I plotted the seas. show the points that I did not. Uh, <laughs> um, all right, okay. Well, we could gab all night, probably. Um, let's see, montage or no, yeah, 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 mono scene, montage, montage. We'll do a montage, perfect. Love that for us, okay. We d- yeah. just, just for those of you watching, we did decide that earlier, we're just pretending that we did it. And if that's true, I was not listening. <laughs> <laughs> Some of us don't see the whole chat until the end of the day. <laughs> um, all right, we're topiary and I will, you know, what? I'm going to use our little word. It's not ours. Wait, Pete's sitting right here. You don't want to ask Pete for a word? Oh yeah, let's ask Pete for a word. Hey, PDB. Hi. Hey, Pete. You're live on Highwire Improv. Can we please have a word? Um, stardust. Ooh. Oh my god, he is so poetic, y'all. <laughs> Thank you, Stardust. Stardust. Bless you. Uh, thank you. Uh, can you not do that good. in here? Huh? I'm sorry, can you not expel your your liquids in here, your moisture from your weird human body. Uh, okay. Honestly, like it's, he sneezed and it's okay. But Lonnie, you do have to keep in mind that the declaration of independence is right in front of us without the glass. So we do need to keep most of our bodily fluids inside. Yeah. I don't even, that said exciting day to work at the Smithsonian hot gang. Yeah. Yeah. Super, super fun. Super fun. Yeah. Today is the day that we're going to, like we do every year, we're just going to flip the declaration over and make sure there's not a map on the back. So you guys ready? I'm, I'm ready. But before we do, I just, did you guys think I planned to come in here and sneeze on the declaration of independence? Like you're telling me not to do it. I, I can't control my sneezing. No, I agree with that wholeheartedly. And I appreciated that you did kind of turn to the side. And I did the elbow. Yeah, you know, you did the vampire thing. That's that's great. I mean, I, just, I personally, I if I feel the need to sneeze in a situation like this, I actually suck it back up. So I make sort of the reverse noise. I go like. Yeah. So, yeah, Lonnie, that's what I was going to say. You need to learn to suck it back in. Yeah. Like, like that. You know? Yeah. Yeah. It feels intensely uncomfortable. Yeah. It sort of feels like a reverse orgasm. Have you ever had one of those? I think I'm having one now. I think he is. Oh, great. Make sure you don't jizz on the Declaration of Independence, please. Oh. Did you just jizz? No, I didn't jizz. Okay. okay. It was a reverse orgasm. You don't jizz. Uh, reverse orgasms uh, so did the jizz right. go, like into your body it shoots right back into my blood system yeah yeah cool anyway about the declaration of independence and the maps on the back yep let's flip We're it doing this? ready ready one two three <clears throat> that declaration is is heavy it's a three-person block yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it looks yeah, it, everybody's like, it's just a piece of paper. And I'm like, well, what you fail to remember is that the Founding Fathers wrote almost exclusively on paper-thin titanium. But, yeah. That was yeah. then aged to look as though it was paper. I mm-hmm. think people really do forget about that part of the nation's history. 
where Very much so. there was no paper. It was right. only, right? There was only titanium and we had to right. do what we could with it. We made parchment from it, right. clothing, yep. moisture, moisture wicking, clothing. Very yeah, much. that was pretty yep. pretty much ahead of its time. Yep. And, uh, and, and money. Right. All of that is that's, true. That's a part of the nation's forgotten history. I, I just, I wish people would visit the, the museum more so we could tell them about it. And yeah. people were much stronger from, from carrying all that around. Yeah. Okay, all day. Just ripped. Yeah. yeah For no good reason. Women, children. Yeah. Ripped. No, it was, it was abnormal for a six-year-old not to have washboard abs. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Now we'd be like, whoa, child abuse. Who's making yeah. that? Right, right. Child. Like, whoa, whoa. What? Hey, hey, wait a minute. Why is your third grader benching 300, Mary? Whoa. Yeah. What is this? What is this? 17, whatever year the, right. the Declaration yeah. of Independence was written? That's what, was it? That's what I read from like, Hamilton. Probably. Yeah. I was thinking 1776, but I just thought that was when Independence Day happened. I didn't know if they wrote the declaration before we got the actual independence. Independence yeah. happened in 1995. Uh when we beat the aliens, they we, <laughs> we crash their ship. Yeah, okay. Man, okay. we've been getting the cream of the crop since we stopped requiring that US history test with the application. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, we really don't get a good sense of how big the world is until you're in a spaceship. Sorry. Yeah, that's, that's just a space alarm. Uh, you really don't get a good look at how the earth looks until you look at it. I'm sorry, did you say, here. I'm sorry, <laughs> sorry. This is my first space ride. Did you say that was a, a space alarm? Did you hear it? I did. Yeah, so basically, Francesca, I would love to call you Franny if I could. Okay, Lieutenant, can I call you Cassie or... Cassie? Well, considering my name is Margaret, I'd rather you didn't, but I guess I guess I could establish a nickname now. Go ahead, call me Cassie. Okay. Okay. Um Brandy Cass. You know what? Call me Cass. Okay, just uh real quick, back to the space alarm thing. Is that something that's happening to the ship? Or is that something that's happening outside of the ship that we need to be concerned about? Hey, that's a good question. I can see how you got a job at NASA. I'd love to explain this to you. Basically, the space alarm, one is equipped inside the ship, another is equipped outside. The outer alarm lets us know if extraterrestrial forces are trying to get into the ship. The oh inner alarm lets us know if any of the inner workings of the craft uh, start to fail. Oh, my God. And which one was that? Uh, you don't know? Shoot, I don't remember which one. They sound so either, incredibly simpler. So either we're being attacked by an outside extra, extraterrestrial force or, or we're going to lose oxygen in the next 25 seconds. Oh my God. Cass. Tag out, tag out Hannah. Hi, Fran, Fra, is it Francine? Francesca? Fran is fine. Fran, Fran uh, thank you so much for coming in to, to uh, NASA's customer service department to file your report in person. First of all, I just want to apologize on behalf of NASA for the alien attack. I, um, I appreciate you know, we that. Try to, we do try to navigate our aircraft or spacecraft in uh, non-alien confrontation zones, but occasionally they do encroach over that space. Uh, it gets dicey from time to time. It's, I'm really happy to hear you weren't hurt. Cut so back to the alien attack. Cut back to the alien attack. Ah! Oh, no, please. No, please. Cut back to customer service. I mean, so no, I wasn't is it? physically hurt, but. Yeah, so but what is what is your complaint? Uh, well, uh. I'll, I'll say my chief complaint is like currently is um, they did shave me bald and then they licked my head for what they said was like 
on their planet would be like 30 seconds. But for me, it was actually, it felt like about three weeks. Mm. Cut back to that. <laughs> ah, it's only 30 seconds of your life. No, it's not. That's your alien time, please. <laughs> no, that's how days and seconds are. Einstein life. was right. <laughs> Theory of relevance. Back to customer service. So... Um, yeah. What is it that NASA did in this? Because you're really telling me about how displeased you were with the aliens, and I totally agree. They're disgusting and inappropriate. But what did NASA do? Tag out Sherrod. Oh, what exactly kind of a complaint would you like to file with the aliens? It sounds like you are a little bigoted against other kinds. I'm not bigoted. I just don't want you to lick my head and my neck. And and I just... I, I just you know, it's nothing against you. I don't want anyone to lick me. I just, if you have 15 tongues, I, 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 please. Just. You get, that's not a tongue. This is, this is something else. <laughs> See. <laughs> Babe. Baby. What, what's, what's this? I asked you to go to the store and, and then, well, well, you were going to the store, I'm sorry, and I asked you to pick up Starburst, but this this isn't Starburst. No. Wait, you said Starburst? Oh, Starburst. Is, okay, yeah, that is not what I heard, so that is not what I got. Well, what is this? That? <laughs> I think it's just, like, a screwdriver. Delia. Is that not... Delia? I, think, I think you said Starburst and I heard, I don't think I was listening. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm so sorry. Oh my God. I this so again, much- Dila, you don't like, not only do you, do you not hear me? Like you actively ignore what I'm saying. You have to, you could not have gotten a screwdriver for me asking you to pick up Starburst on your way. You weren't <laughs> even going to Home Depot. You said you were going to Rite Aid. Yeah. They no. Don't sell screwdrivers in Rite Aid, do they? No. I, I specifically left the Rite Aid because they didn't have screwdrivers. All right. Delia, I, I don't know that this is working for me. No, Conrad, come on. No, 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 no. You just have to understand how stressed out and busy I am, dude. Like... <laughs> I wish, I wish you could have seen me at work today. I, I, I did mean, see you at work. You work from home. We both work from home. <laughs> okay. Well then, you know how stressed out I was. Tanya's baby shower is in like four days. Babe, you are not an event planner. I You're not know. an event that does. That's not your job. I Tag out Sherrod. Thank you so much for doing this for me, for planning my baby shower, Delia. You are such a good friend. Now, I only have a few super simple requests that um, I'm hoping you can accommodate. I know we only have a few days left, uh, but I do need lilies from Japan. So I need, I can't get the ones that are like, from, like local, like Maryland, I need Japanese lilies. Okay. Why? Um. What do you mean? Why? My husband is Japanese and we want to bring our little, our little baby Lily, you know, we want her to, to bring her into a beautiful, beautiful world. Okay. So that's, I was just, I was just wondering, since I'm doing so much planning for you, um, is there any chance I could be invited to the shower? It's kind of just for like really close friends and family. You know, we don't want Christy, tag out Christy. Babe? I know. No, babe. You said you were going to Japan and I asked you to pick up some hot candy candy, and you brought this back. What is this? (laughs) It's a live octopus. I kept it alive for the plane. Oh my God, Delia. I don't, what am I going to do with an octopus? I just want candy. I mean, this, 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 listen, don't, let's just stay, stay 
stick, let's stay on topic here, okay? He's gorgeous. The the octopus is pretty cool, but I want to talk about us. I want to talk about me and you. This can't, we can't keep on like this. Like, hey, you guys, hey, it's me, the octopus. Hey, yeah, we're really smart. Let me let me help you. Let me help you work this out. And then, you know, maybe you can set me free. I used to be a marriage counselor back in my ocean that I was. What? Plunked. You hear that, right? Yeah, no, 100%. But right now I'm desperate and sleep deprived enough to think that this is just my work. Yeah, it's me. I, yeah, no, octopus are really evolved. That's why you shouldn't eat us. <laughs> Honestly, babe, I have had such a week and there's still three days until the shower. I just I think maybe- You're not I even know. invited to the shower, Delia. I you're, know. You're putting you our relationship- Remind me. Hey, listen, if you want my advice- I do. Okay. I think you should cut that friend off because she's no friend to you. She's no friend to you, Delia. No, I'm like- she calls me every day. And I mean, it's usually like 6 a.m. and she yells at me, but like we yeah. talk all the time. And like sometimes, sometimes she texts me and she's like, she's like, hey, like you really fucked this up. And, and hey, okay, I'm gonna pause you right there. Conrad, how does that make you feel? I feel fucking stupid. I'm here listening to my wife cry about a friend who's not a friend and we're talking to an octopus this is not my this is not for me it's not for me it's okay i'm really smart you have to understand when i met her in the line at cold stone we clicked like we clicked scene <laughs> my face hurts It's a good restaurant. What? It's a good restaurant. Yeah. You like the food here. Yeah, no, I um I actually just put in a fresh piece of gum, so I'm not gonna I'll watch you though and I'll be take pics because phone eats first even when you don't. <laughs> okay. You're doing you're okay, did you just be real me? Uh, no. <laughs> I be real like six hours ago when it was time to be real. Do you be real late? Ew, you have two minutes to do it. Otherwise, it's late. That is so like <laughs> millennial. I don't be real at all, Janice, to be. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't. Okay. Um, I brought you here tonight. I was hoping we could just have like a friend catch up, you know, I feel like every time I see you, you're, you're doing that. You're on your phone. I invite you to dinner. Why would you put in gum? Just spit out the gum, drink some water and order a fucking appetizer. Okay. Um, I feel like you're talking to me kind of the way that like you would talk <laughs> to someone that is like 45 and not like clearly born in the year 2001 look how chunky my shoes are <laughs> they're very they're startlingly startlingly chunky actually honestly and also i've just been spending so much time on tiktok and just like yeah i know you send me like a hundred tiktoks a day and frankly yeah. i just i don't have the time to watch all the tiktoks janice i just okay well Honestly, that's like part of the reason why I don't want to hang out with you because, like, what we talk about, you know? know, okay, we could just put your phone down and let's talk about us. Let's talk about what's I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I, I have things going on, you know. I, I started hiking and, uh, and I'm really enjoying that. We could go on a hike sometime. That would be so nice. Okay. <laughs> Diana, you see, this is the difference between you and me. When my husband left me for your husband, I reinvented myself and I was like, I'm going to be exactly 20 years younger than I am right now. And your self reinvention has kind of just been like, I hike. And like, that's sad girl. Like I look at how well adjusted I am compared to you. I would beg to differ Janice. I don't think pretending you're 20 years younger and 
Instagramming and TikToking for 12 hours a day. I don't think that's well adjusted. When was the last time you even saw a blade of grass? Oh, what? A what? A blade of grass, Janice. Grass. Like a knife? Like a leaf knife? Like a grass. Like a grass that? that's what? literally everywhere. Like 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 a plant that's also sharp? Like, well, do you hear yourself? Like, Do you hear yourself? Like... You sound like you work like a nine to five. <laughs> like you sound like you know what a 401k is. Okay. Janet, yeah. And you should too, because we've both been working a really long time and we should have, okay. Okay. Janice, I just, I want us to reconnect. Okay. All right. What, what can I do to get us back to where we used to be? And do a TikTok dance. Talk out, uh, Kristen. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh. Janice, um, yeah. listen, your pro- productivity is is really slacking. Um, as an attorney, you're just not logging enough billable hours. And I realize things have been pretty, am I keeping you up? What? Am I keeping you up? No, honestly, okay. you're making it hard to sleep. Oh yeah, you're keeping me up. Yeah. <laughs> Janice. <sighs> Listen, I don't, you, you were one of our top uh, producing attorneys uh, yeah. for, for tw- 20 years straight. Your attitude, your, your, your disposition has really been off-putting. And honestly, a lot of our clients aren't interested in working with you. I just need you to kind of come back around to who you are. 53-year-old Janice Worthington. 53, oh yay. <laughs> 53, adorable miss. Hang out, Sharon. Hang out, Sharon. Mom, you said you'd help me with some college applications. Mom, literally, I, who are you? This is so cute. Mom. No, it's, <laughs> mom, no, mom, please. Can you like be serious for a second? I, I really need some help. I, I need to fill out a FAFSA and I need like your financial information. I think my financial information. That's adorable. Um, ask me in 20 years after I learn what a 401k is, Melissa. <laughs> And when he touched me, I just, I was, I was quivering all over the place. We made love and I had the most intense reverse orgasm. I mean, I came so hard inside myself. It was. Okay. So I've only read about this. It's never happened to me. Do you feel like your blood is supercharged with your sperm? My blood is so thick right now. Yeah. It's just a complete gooey, guppy mess. I okay, because I actually, I heard that like if you give somebody a blood transfusion right now, they would get pregnant. Oh, like, shit. Yeah. Wait, did you donate today? Yeah, today Wait, and yesterday. I'm like, right? I'm, I'm, I'm an extreme donor. I t- yeah, no, yeah, I know. But you, you didn't donate platelets today, right? That's all I ever donate. Oh my God. No, what? No. Okay. You literally just impregnated like half of the world's blood transfusion patients. Whoa. Oh, shit. <laughs> Touch Amori Povich. Your- Povich in 16 years. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I have to tell you that Sharad, you are the father. No. God, I've been telling you, no. Sharad. Nah. I got. I don't that that ba- that baby don't even look like me. Yeah, bring out the baby. <laughs> oh, we're both babies. We're twins. <laughs> look at this horrifying reality that I have to live with every day, Sharon. You have to help me. I don't want money. I just want your help. I just want you to like. Oh God! Please, Maury, can we take? Okay, I'll, I'll I'll claim one of those babies, but that motherfucker is not my baby. <sighs> yeah, that was sickening. Yeah, it was ugly. That was not ugly. I mean, they are our babies, Sharon. Now, Sharon, okay. I don't think we need to get married or anything, but 
you know, maybe you could move in. You keep saying my name like you know me. I don't even know you. Okay, yeah, I did the I did the blood donor thing, and my blood was teeming with sperm. And yes, you got pregnant through some freak encounter with my blood. I'm not I'm not doing anything for you and this baby. I don't have any obligation for that. Okay, first of all, everyone knows that reverse orgasms just shoot the sperm into your blood. Okay, so you common sh- knowledge, common fucking knowledge. You know, this is the state of education in America. We don't even know about blood sperm and the and the threat of impregnation cut to the babies in 35 years <laughs> <laughs> and that's why i'm proud to run our president of these united states as the world's first brother sperm blood baby miles Davidson. What? <laughs> Can you repeat everything you just said? I'm so sorry. Come back. <laughs> Come back. Come back. <laughs> That's a pretty bleak future, and you know. Yeah. I don't want. I don't want that for you or your baby. Thank you. So I'm going to kill it. <laughs> and right here on the Maury Povich Show, we have the tools to do it. Bring out the rifles. That's our show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Ben, what do you, you said? What? <laughs> <laughs> I heard Miles Davis. I had no idea if I was supposed to be Miles <laughs> Davis. I, was I always do this fucking thing where I start to say a famous person's name and then I realize I'm saying a famous person's name. So I just add sounds to it. Steam to it. It's not, it's not sustainable. Every, every, everyone watching, this is, you're seeing behind the curtain. This is all <laughs> Oh my God. I legitimately forgot for a moment that this was live streamed. It is. <laughs> <laughs> and that was our yeah. best performance. So if you love Topiary, please yeah. be sure to tune in for all of these high wire improv shows starring Topiary. Well, tune in anyway. Tune in anyway, <laughs> right? To all the high high wire improv shows, but definitely the ones with Topiary. Definitely the ones with Topiary, and they will all live on the internet forever. So <laughs> wow, I'm really glad that I yelled, "Bring out the rifles." <laughs> Um, all right, that that has been our Tuesday night shows. Thank you so much to Velvet Duke for that amazing all request radio. Uh, please uh, visit him on Instagram. He's at Vel- the Velvet Duke, I believe. Uh, please check out Highwire Instagram. We're at Highwire Improv uh, on Instagram, Facebook. Go to our website, sign up for our email list so you can know about all the cool things happening with Highwire all around the city. And uh, yeah, thank you to Topiary. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. Wow. Thanks for Thank trusting you. us. <laughs> <laughs> oh.